Hey everyone, I'm back again. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video again about the box art. I was looking through my stuff and I found these old ones and I just thought they'd be cool to show. These go back a long ways and they are so cool. The artwork on them is amazing. So I thought I'd show them to you really quick. Just because, I mean, they're, well, they're back before my time. Probably a lot of us. They're they're before us. We were either little kids or maybe not even born yet when uh, some of these came out. But this Joanne kit here is, and these were just boxes that, that I found at swap meets and stuff. But uh, look, at the, look at that artwork on there. That's just so cool. It was a, this was a Dodge Custom Royale. And they scratch out because I think that was the price when they were new. I think uh, I could be wrong. And looks like they went to dollar thirty nine, and they scratched that off, and then went to sixty nine cents. Can you imagine that? Sixty nine cents. But that you know, same thing on both sides. Nothing about parts or anything. Just a little bit right there. The little kid got the glue in his hand. Very cool. Old Johan kit. That's awesome. And then uh, then there's this one. Again, it was just a box that I found. But this, the artwork on this is pretty cool. And this one, I'm not sure. I can't make out what that, what that was. Yeah, but then it shows you. So I'm assuming 58. But as for what model, I can't tell. But I guess back in the day, it's book 49, wow. They just, uh, a generic box, and then they just stamp what model was in it in this white spot right here. And then these two here, I would assume that a convertible box and a hardtop box. Because uh, other than that, they're they're kind of the same. Like this one here, they used for uh, their gerbil or their mouse or something. But uh, again, crazy cool box art. You know, look at those streamlined looking things. This is 59 Etzel. So, and I assume that's a price that the manufacturer put on there, but I'm not positive. Some say it's the stock number, but I don't know. Anyway, there shows uh, what else you could get. And the decals and all the accessories and stuff really really cool really really cool and that's just some more artwork there then you go to this one and this is the hardtop one and again same uh, same box art on there and you flip them around and it's all hardtops here and all convertibles here and the accessory listing there and there is the same and it looks like the decals are the same here let's do it this way check that I mean that's just so cool how they did that back in the day uh, anyway this looks like a uh, I don't know where these models wound up. This one here was a Corvette, 59 Corvette, it looks like, which I guess is that one right there. Anyway, I just wanted to show these to you because uh, they're really old, they're really cool, and that's some actual box art there. I mean, that's just crazy. Here, here you know, he's got all these trophies for the hardtop and the convertible. Yeah. The kid and his, him and his dad are working on a model. I mean, even the model the guy's holding there is is uh, is really cool. Anyways, this is just some cool old stuff. Nice box art. I mean, we could go on for days and days on box art because there's so many cool ones and there's so many ugly ones. Maybe some more guys will show some ugly ones because there are some crazy ugly ones out there. But... Those are cool. I thought I'd share them with you. Thanks for watching. 
again thanks for uh, subscribing to my channel if you haven't please do uh, look forward to your comments on these and what you think anybody out there old enough to remember them you know let us know anyway thanks and don't forget uh, tomorrow morning is uh, model cars and coffee so we'll see you in the morning thanks bye